Level 2 Fitness Instruction Anatomy and Physiology Energy Systems By the end of this session you will be able to describe how carbohydrates, fats and proteins are used in the production of adenosine triphosphate. Explain the use of the three energy systems during aerobic and anaerobic exercise. The macronutrients. The energy in food is measured in calories. Carbohydrates contain four calories per gram. Fats contain nine calories per gram. And protein contain four calories per gram. Adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. ATP is the body's energy currency. It is the only fuel the human body recognises and uses. The body would cease to function and survive without it. You can see a diagram representing ATP. It has four molecules, one molecule of adenosine and three molecules of phosphate. ATP releases its energy when one of its phosphate bonds is broken and it's converted to adenosine diphosphate, ADP. There is a very limited store of ATP within the muscles. It only lasts for approximately one to two seconds. Once it has been used up, it must be resynthesized. There are three different methods by which this is accomplished creatine phosphate system, lactate system, aerobic system. Creatine phosphate energy system. The creatine phosphate energy system is an anaerobic energy system. It can immediately regenerate ATP using creatine phosphate. However, there's a very little so it only lasts a short time. It's used when there is insufficient oxygen, for example, near maximal exertion. It's also used when a muscle needs to generate a lot of force very quickly. The 100 meter sprint, the high jump, a javelin throw, or weightlifting. Lactate energy system. The lactate energy system is another anaerobic system. It uses glycogen that's stored in the muscle. During an activity or an exercise that's near maximal exertion and lasts longer than the creatine phosphate system can provide, the lactate energy system will kick in. This can be anything from 10 seconds to 3 minutes, for example a 400 meter sprint. It plays a big part when the intensity during aerobic activity is too great for the aerobic energy system to manage alone. Because it produces lactic acid within the muscles. If it accumulates, it will lead to fatigue. Aerobic energy system. Aerobic means with oxygen. The aerobic energy system produces ATP from carbohydrate and fat. It can also use protein during a fast or extreme endurance events. It is the energy system which dominates during aerobic activities, e.g. long distance swimming, cycling and running. It's also the dominant system during rest. When it's utilised, it produces carbon dioxide and water. Can you now describe how carbohydrates, fats and proteins are used in the production of ATP? Explain the use of the three energy systems during aerobic and anaerobic exercise. For more health and fitness education visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk